Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really easy gooey chocolate orange cake that is gluten free. It's inspired by an old favorite Nigella Lawson recipe of mine that I found that I've been cooking for years. It's from the How to Be a Domestic Goddess cookbook. It's actually called Store Cupboard Chocolate Orange Cake because all of these ingredients you probably already have in your pantry in your store cupboard. So it is just beautiful and I've made it gluten free friendly. The original recipe is flour but I use coconut flour instead and make a lovely dense gooey rich chocolate cake and as always I've written a blog post which I'll leave down below which has the full recipe and step-by-step -step instruction too so click through for that and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too let me know if you give this recipe a try and what you think of it so let me show you how to make it start by seeing to your butter and chocolate I have chopped up 125 grams of butter which I'm going to pop on to melt and I have chopped up 100 grams of chocolate so it's all ready to go as soon as the butter is melted we'll add the chocolate in to melt along too and as you can hear I've popped the oven on behind me to 180 degrees Celsius which is 350 Fahrenheit and also line a round baking tin with well greased baking powder so well greased baking paper so that it's ready to go when we're ready so now I'm just going to pop the butter on to melt so just pop it on the stove top and watch it keep stirring until you've got a lovely pot full of melted butter it's barely been a minute it's almost melted and have chocolate at the ready to pour on as soon as all the butter is melted so the butter's pretty much melted, add in all the chocolate and get it stirring to all melt. And once you've got a pool of melted chocolate, we'll take it straight off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Now it's up to you how sweet you like your sweet treats, for how much sugar you want to add. I'm just going for a third of a cup. That is how sweet we like ours, a little on the darker side. And just give that a whisk in. And now I'm adding in the whole jar of marmalade and whisk that in okay now add a pinch of salt two eggs and give those a whisk in Perfect, it smells incredible. And now for the flour, coconut flour. This cake only needs a quarter of a cup of coconut flour to be perfectly formed. And just give that a whisk in. I find that a wire whisk does the job perfectly. If you really want, you can use electric beaters for a super smooth cake, but I like keeping all these lovely peeled from the orange nice and whole, so I just like to use a wire whisk. Ah, that is perfect, and now we'll pour it out into the cake tin. So I've got my round spring form baking tin, which I've lined with well greased baking paper, and now we'll just pour the cake batter in. go and now I'll just pop it into the oven which is preheated to 180 degrees Celsius which is 350 Fahrenheit for 45 to 50 minutes or until it's perfectly done to your liking and I'll show you once it comes out the oven and the chocolate orange cake is out the oven house smells heavenly as always and now just allow it to cool in the tin for a bit and then we'll unmold it and I will show you when I cut into the lovely cake so the cake is cooled it's been unmolded it's not the largest cake but it is so tasty and so dense and gooey and full of flavor now for toppings you can make a frosting a ganache or just pop some melted chocolate on top just to give it an extra indulgence if you want to you can leave it plain like that it is so full of flavor it is beautiful plain and simple just like that but what I'm going to do is use a teeny tiny tea strainer and just shake a bit of icing sugar, powdered sugar, whatever you call it, on top just to give it a little bit of a final flourish. There you go, nice and simple. And now I will cut a slice from it. And there you go, you can see inside it's dense and gooey and so full of lovely chocolate. And if you look closer inside over there as well, you can see because I left 
the orange quite whole, the orange jam. You can see the little segments of orange inside so you kind of get bites of orange in every single mouthful and it's just the perfect gluten-free gooey chocolate orange cake. So that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment too, let me know if you give this a try and what you think of it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye!